If you look at Matthew 25, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit those in prison. And by the way, for everybody who hates the homeless, welcome the stranger. Uh, or the stranger, not just the homeless, because that's my forte, but could be anybody that just doesn't fit in the middle of society. As a Catholic, and growing in the Catholic the, or in the church's uh, social teaching, especially when you look into the compendium of the social doctrine of church, the uh, uh, bishops state in this document that God's vision for society is that every person is a full contributor to that society. And then they go on to say the poor can't and the rich won't. <laughs> so you're not just helping the poor become full contributors to society, you're, you're supposed to be helping the rich do that as well. As far as these extremes with rich and poor, we're called to, uh, as Christ's disciples to call people to salvation. What is salvation? Salvation is this process of becoming one with our Creator again. I mean, Adam and Eve were perfectly one with the Creator. And then they sinned. We fell, and now we're far from the Creator. And through Christ, we are now being reconciled to God. And uh, St. Paul talks about that, that we're called to this ministry of reconciliation. And so when it comes to the rich and the poor, really, what are we trying to do? We're trying to reconcile them to God, but how do they reconcile? How do we reconcile them to God? St. John says in, in his letter of 1 John, he says, you do it by getting the, to love their brother, <laughs> right? So we're, if we're pitting the rich and the poor against each other, we're certainly not reconciling people. So I think part of the work of salvation isn't just, hey, come to Jesus, but it's, hey, you need to love your brother. So to the rich, we're bringing salvation to the rich by saying, let's give you opportunities to love your brother. Homeowners. Let's sit down to dinner with the homeless. Hey, homeless, let's sit down to dinner with police officers who you hate. Why do I go receive the Eucharist every Sunday? Because I'm always walking away from it. And God's always calling me back, come back, come back to the table. And so uh, just as in the Old Testament, God was constantly calling the Israelites back. So as Christians, he calls us back. And so we're constantly to be calling people in society together to love each other, to, as St. Peter says, to share in the divine nature. Well, what is the divine nature? The divine, in the divine nature, there's unity, of course, but there's this complete self-giving, the giving to the other. Jesus says, uh, talks about, you know, the, the fa- he doesn't gain glory for himself, but only what the Father gives him. So... It's self-giving of each other, and so we want to teach the rich how to totally give of themselves. But at the same time, we want to teach the poor how to totally give themselves and not just be take, 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 take. And so uh, that's where the compendium of the social doctrine of church comes back into play. Let's help the poor become full contributors to society again. Begin to give back to society, to the rich. And, And by the way, In many ways, the rich and the poor are in the same boat. So they're about take, take, take. Both of them. Just one is grabbing more money, the other's getting a little bit. But at the same time, we need to call them both back to this perfect center of self-giving. And it's beautiful because I, I will see a homeless person who has food and he sees his fellow homeless uh starving and he'll give his food to them instead and it's in those moments like there it is there's the perfect society right there happening it now takes on a very whole society vision and a holistic approach to the individual so now that i'm catholic i really has come home to me that i'm not to just be meeting the physical need of the person but i'm going to be meeting their spiritual needs and that's not just what we might think of salvation. A person's spiritual need could be all kinds of things in their life on that spiritual level. To be meeting their mental needs, emotional needs, their relational needs, just this whole uh, healing and redemption of the person. And so I'm not just trying to get them to heaven, I'm trying to get heaven to them. <laughs>